ahead and call the Human Resources Committee meeting to order at 10 a.m. on October 12th here in the first floor conference room of City Hall. Um, I think all of us know each other, so we'll just <laughs> skip the intro. Um, it's a special meeting for considering hiring an elections administrative assistant for a limited term, not to exceed 36 hours in total in the clerk's office to assist with the general election. This would include voting machine testing, a chief elections inspector meeting, assistance with setup election sites, election day oversight, and post-election assistance. Um, Mr. Mayor? Sure, um, thanks for calling the special meeting this morning to discuss this since the November election is right around the corner. Uh, in looking at kind of the overall um, responsibilities and duties that need to occur uh, in advance of the upcoming election, in the vacancy of with the vacancy of a, a city clerk, um, we uh, we really kind of look to what were some of the duties that were maybe a bit more technical that someone um, needed a little bit of training for uh, and that sort of thing. And so that's I think what you had just read off in the agenda item there. Uh, and and we believe that these duties can likely be accomplished within 40 hours. I mean it's probably much less than that, but I'll just say up to 40 hours. Um, <clears throat> And as far as a pay rate, you know, we didn't have anything established for this position, and so um, we needed to get something established if we were going to bring someone in uh, in an administrative sort of uh, capacity here. I think there are some logistical things in terms of the, the hiring and, and that sort of relationship, and Sue can talk about those. But uh, I guess that's just a little bit of a background for us. Um, you know, it's a it's a uh, temporary deal. It's it's you know, obviously very. Um, you know, uh, unforeseen in the sense that if we would have had a city clerk uh, during this election, this would have been their responsibilities. Um, so I guess maybe Sue could talk a little bit about how technically this may work. Right. Um, and I guess the, the person that we are considering is, is Alder person Shane Laser. He has uh, offered to assist in some of the things that um, the deputy clerk at this point does not have experience with. And, and as the mayor said, there are kind of some hardware issues, just the machines, just some technical aspects of it that he could assist with. It's not really that he's running the election or or anything like that. He's he's just there to assist. He will be around on election day, you know, for for anything with the machines, um, and uh, will will attend the chief election inspector uh, meeting just to make sure that you know everything's covered. Um, However, uh, we, he can't be, you know, because he's an elder person, a governing body member, he can't be hired as an employee. Uh, you, can't, you can't be your own, your own boss, even if he would recuse himself from the vote, that can't happen. But there is, uh, and I have talked to the League of Wisconsin Municipalities specifically about the situation just to make sure that we were doing everything um, legally and, and that there weren't, wasn't any question. He could, though, be hired as uh, an independent contractor or a consultant just to assist in a limited term. Mm -hmm. As the mayor said, we I had put 36 hours, I don't know, maybe. I think that's fine. Yeah, I, and, I, and, and I believe, and I, Shane said that that would be more than enough time, um, and he would be willing to do it as an ind independently and, and not as an employee. Um, and so, uh, I guess what was what had been talked about would be twenty five dollars an hour um, under that and that that contract and as I said not to exceed thirty six hours and it would just be for um, you know the next couple of weeks I don't even know when the first event would be that he would need to do probably closer to the closer to the election and then perhaps something the next the day after the election just you know getting the machines. Uh, tearing them down and, and doing what needs to be done with those machines after the election. So I think it's he's a, a, a valuable resource to use. It's kind of a, you know, it's difficult to just find someone that knows how to do that type of thing and it would be very, very limited. Um, so I guess what, what I would recommend would be that it would be a, um, a, on a contract basis not to exceed 36 hours at $25 per hour. Um, if uh, for for Shane, um, I guess in the event that something doesn't work out with him, I, I don't foresee that. But maybe we could leave it that it or you know to pay if if we if something yeah or at least get someone in that position to do that to do those things. And there might be another clerk somewhere around, or maybe someone we could pull someone from the county. 
Um, but we just thought to take advantage of, of his expertise um, and his relationship with Sue. Obviously, he worked with Sue a number of years that he was, that she was, they were here together, so. I think another consideration is just the fact that, you know, this is a Monday, Tuesday, or even a Friday before kind of responsibility, so it's such a unique yeah. um, schedule yeah. arrangement that finding somebody that's available is also another right. layer of complexity. Right, here, everyone so. else that knows about elections <clears throat> is probably working on an election. In their own area, yeah. So. Uh, but I think, you know, if we have to go there, there may be other resources, I just don't hope that we yeah. have to, and I think we can, like Susan, right. I think there's some, um, confidence that this will work well for mm -hmm. us and just to make sure our loose ends. I mean, the, the, I think it's important to draw the distinction too, as Sue had said, you know, the chief uh, elections inspectors, the chiefs are running the polling places, mm -hmm. right? They manage the day, they manage the personnel that are there. It's the city's responsibility really from an oversight and administrative perspective to make sure that our obligations are being met on a, on a higher level. Uh, so I, you know, I would just uh, repeat that because I think it's important for anybody that might be watching the process to wonder, you know, what is, you know, our elections are really important and, and so is the um, accuracy and so is the um, safeguarding of all of the things. So I think having some of the, the administrative behind the scenes things that people don't see um, addressed, which is what this role really would do. I, I see no problem with it, but, you know, we, we talked about, let's say, if a uh, a department head or somebody's out for a period of time, someone may have to cover and we're talking about how to pay for that. And then we talked about should a person write down what is in expected of them. And I think because just to deal with the, I think we should come down with some type of description. I think we're talking about generalizations like in the background, but I think if you go from the city clerk's position, they have different aspects of the election li listed and if we pull that out and make that a separate entity so it's just not hiring Shane as a, a separate party but hiring Shane as a separate party to do this specifically mm -hmm. and sign off it on that case it would be mm -hmm. wise so mm -hmm. the public say well what did he do well sure. he did this right. he did this he did this. Right. you know might we have a one page uh, Related to the independent sure. contractor sort of relationship sure. that we could just circulate before have the meeting. That, I mean, I wouldn't think we would want right, to. Right, have that by tomorrow. Yeah. It's probably in the city yeah. clerk's yeah, on job, uh, job description. Yeah. There are components of it. I think we listed them in yeah. the agenda item, but I, I think you're, you have a point that, you know, sometimes it doesn't carry forward, and so that way we have something that says this is what you're doing, this is the amount of time, and, mm -hmm. and you're agreeing just for the public right. pay. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I support that. Mm -hmm. I think we can identify it outside of the agenda in almost the same format, the same mm -hmm. list. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess my, my thoughts on this are is I think it's a great idea. I know Shane spent a number of years in the clerk's office and he certainly has the um, experience and the know-how to make this thing work. Um, I, uh, one thing I did talk with Sue about was I had some concern if somebody would come back on the city that we had this position and we didn't um, advertise it you know and I understand your points exactly about you know this is like a Friday Monday Tuesday type thing so it's like three days yeah but I, I would uh, hate to see the city come under any scrutiny for for doing something um, in in secret so to speak um, what I'm thinking of uh, for, for a motion um, to send something up to council uh, before I actually make the motion. I'm just going to kind of uh, dry run this here, but um, that we do uh, create the position of an elections administration assistant for the limited term with um, a job description of duties, as Alderman uh, Kellogg explained, and that. Um, from the time council approves it, interested parties would have a period of um, five days to submit a name for review to the mayor's office. So we still have plenty of time because we're meeting next week, Tuesday, which will be the, the yeah. uh, 16th. Oh, yeah, tomorrow. I said tomorrow. I was thinking today was Monday. It's yeah. so close. So, so, <laughs> yeah. so if, we're, if, we're meeting, if we're meeting on the 16th, if the council was to approve this, that five days would, would put it out to like the, the 21st, or unless you want to do it 
five business days would probably put it until the 23rd, which would still give more than enough time through the end of October for somebody to be selected to fill the position. And that way, that I feel that way we can say that the city of Wisconsin Rapids made a fair, honest, good faith effort. And if nobody else, nobody else puts in for it, you know, then nobody else puts in for it. And then um, Alder Person Blazer would be uh, to free to um, subcontract for the city to administer that that duty. Um, I'll just see what your thoughts are on that. I guess I have a concern with that somewhat. I, I agree. Um, but you need somebody who knows our system, uh, Wisconsin Rapids, and rather than just somebody who would like to do it. <laughs> I mean, and I don't, I don't think there's that many people out there. So um, I wouldn't I wouldn't say five days, but maybe so we can lock it in, and so Sue or the city. Um, doesn't feel we have to wait five days and all that, that we, we lost three days. I mean, once we lock it in, let's say in two days, uh, after the common council, then um, Shane can start discussion with Sue and get some things ready. Because I don't think there's, and if you have an, a couple of people, the, to, in my mind, <laughs> they have to come to us with what is it that you offer that Shane may not offer because Shane has the experience and the history and so forth? And he may, but I think it's, it's good to have it open to have other people have input. But um, I don't know, I'm thinking the elect the Common Council and come to Common Council to election, isn't it like only two weeks? Three weeks, probably. Between two, two and three yeah. weeks, probably. Yeah. Three weeks. Yeah. And if we wait a week, yeah, and I don't know if there's meetings ahead of time or, I don't know. It's yeah, we may have to call a special, so you're thinking more so of the concern of having to search and, or screen those individuals and, and decide. Yeah, so maybe if we have two who days. Who has better qualifications in this scenario, you're saying? Is two days unrealistic to. But then you're saying that the council will have to meet to decide to choose who that person is going to be then? Well. I don't know. Yeah. Not, <laughs> well, yeah, right. I guess. I, I, I just the two of us, or, or if, um, if, if I may, I, I think if the council were to give the authority, if we approve the position, I think we have um, a, a great resource with Don as a human resources mm -hmm. director that knows people. Um, Zach certainly has the capability to inter interview. He's full time here, and we have Sue. And I, I think basically it would be. It'd be real short and sweet. It's you know this is 36 hours. It's probably going to be three days, and the interview would be: Do you have familiar? To, are you familiar with this type of voting machine? What is your election experience? Have you done this? And then you know, it, you, you, you your can, candidate pool down there. I would be um, okay with a, a two day because I think two days in the local area here would be more than enough time to mm -hmm. to notice it. Um, and then that way, hopefully, by the close of business on Friday, something could come out of it where, where they know who exactly would be filling this position. Um, but my chief concern is, you know, number one, protecting the city that we're open and transparent, and number two, uh, presenting something to council that is um, that is fair and balanced. That well, that will cut cut the mustard at, at council, so it's not um, per perceived that we're not doing something fairly. So do we say it's approved by the, I think we're on the right track, same track. <laughs> uh, do we say it's approved by the HR committee? Then the whole council doesn't have to get together? Um, well, the question is, would you want to meet again to, to go through that process? Oh, we or, have to? Yeah, I think that was the original thought was that. Right, that you're basically saying we that you will agree that we, we need someone to assist and, right. and these are the duties that they would assist with and we are willing to pay that person for up to 36 hours of work to do those duties and then would it just be so that then we basically make it known that we're looking for that person for a period of time and then someone hires that person the mayor yeah signs the mayor, up on that person I or do you want it to come back to to you or 
Yes, yeah, that's, that's my or... question. How do you want it? And to come back to the council, I don't know if it's realistic for everybody right. to get mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what my concern. I, I would agree with the mayor being able to sign okay. off on it for okay. the sake of so then the, the Okay, so then that's basically just that the mayor finds, finds someone and that you're approving the, the funding to pay that person to do those that's things. Right. It, does that have to be in the motion or not? I'm just... Well, I would... Uh, yeah, I think it should be that that right that you're approving the mayor to just to make it to, to fill that so position can't say right it. right why didn't we meet or why didn't go back to the common council or I I think I think I'm ready to take a shot at this and we'll make a motion <laughs> and then if, uh, if there's any discussion on it we can certainly do that so I will make a motion that we approve an elections administration assistant for a limited term not to exceed 36 hours at a rate of $25 an hour to assist with the November elections that the City of Wisconsin Rapids will notice the uh, vacancy um, after approval at the Common Council meeting on August, or October 16th. Um, deadlines for interested parties will be by 4.30 p.m. on <clears throat> Thursday the 18th. Um, the City would then fill the position by the close of business on Friday, October 19th, and the mayor will have the authority to place the uh, qualified candidate in that position. I'll second it. All right, we have a motion and second. Any discussion? Uh, maybe I just want to be clear that you, you're basically saying that it could be hired maybe at uh, whatever's more, uh, I mean, it could be an independent contractor, or it could be an employee, uh, I mean, or maybe because if one candidate takes it, it, it would have to be structured as an independent contractor. If someone else did, it might make more sense to be an employee. So, could you give that latitude of of whatever arrangement may be best for the city? Um, I would say yes. Is I would. That, I would. I would okay. be willing to amend it to that. Okay. All right, we have the motion and second. Any further discussion? Mr. Mayor? Oh, I think that covers it. Alder person Kellogg? No. <clears throat> All right, hearing no more discussion, committee will vote. All in favor say aye. Hey. Aye. All opposed, ayes have it. 2 0. The motion carries. Um, next item is to adjourn. Uh, I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. aye. All opposed, ayes have it. We stand adjourned at 10 18 a.m.